Hello guys, welcome back to RimWorld, and uh, still it's just me and the colony, uh, we're just chilling out. I have some sort of weird lung disease or something, uh, probably not contagious. Don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what, that's that's part of the fun. Part of the fun. I wonder if that rabbit's still alive. Alright, so we should call this the town, let's call it uh, Railgunia. A good name for the city. So things are looking kind of bleak right now. Who the hell is this? Oh, he just joined the colony. Whoops. Okay, I kind of didn't pay attention to that. Alright, so, a villager named Saratur... I don't know how to name his name, uh, pronounce his name, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to... Can I even rename people? I'm sure I can. There we go. Maybe Pat. Uh, Paticus has joined the colony. Good job. I'm going to just name people, by the way. Oh yeah, if you're in the comments or whatever, I'll fucking name people after you or something sometimes. So what is Pat good at? Well, he's excellent at research, which is good because my first character here is garbage at research. Um, he can do medicining, which is pretty good. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well, right now right now we're, we're introducing each other, we're doing a co-op uh, co horseshoes uh, LP, I guess. And Pat's gonna go and be a piece of shit, so. Let's say bed rest to number one all of a sudden. And what we're also going to do is we're going to say, uh, Pat needs his own bed. Because it's incredibly creepy that he's, uh, he sleeps on the floor. Also, is Pat naked right now? Pat has no clothes on. Uh, character, where, where do you say gear? Yeah. He's got, he's got a toque, which is important. So, Pat is going to go heal, heal me up of my ales. And it's now treated with that amazing amazing uh, health packs we have so it's very fortunate that uh, Pat, Pat arrived um, however Pat is an asshole and refuses to he will not construct well he will construct things but he will not haul things he will not clean things he will research though uh, he's pretty good at that but he's there's a lot of things he will not do here uh, which is not great so Pat's kind of a dick well, that's fine. So what we're going to do is let me first turn off this. Did, have I had this on the whole time? I have had that on the whole time. Uh, so we're going to turn this off. Pat is right now constructing his own bed. Okay. So if he wants to, he can go to sleep. What's also, what's some of his other traits? He's uh, volatile. He has a mental break threshold of 15 plus 15 percent. And he's also slow. He's always falling behind the group where, wherever he goes. Okay. That sounds kind of like that. Um, so. We are going to now start working towards getting breaching here. So, how are we going to do that, you ask? Uh, we are going to first get power. And the way we're going to get power is a wind turbine. Yeah, that is something you can make in this game. Uh, so, we're going to make it like right here. And then what we also need to do is we need to cut down all the trees that are there. Uh, actually, that's not the one I wanted to do. I want to chop wood. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Kind of what we want to do. And then we're going to say cut plants. That one, that one. Okay, hopefully these are not in the way anymore. But we're both sleeping right now, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to take myself off of construction because that is one of the few things that Pat is capable of doing, so he might as well be the one to be doing it. Uh, hauling is a very large priority for me. Um, and also, I, what I usually do is I say firefight number one, patient number one. Apparently, Pat will also not put out fires. What an asshole. Doctor is number two, but patient, being a patient, basically. This this prioritizes going to, going to the bed immediately after you have some sort of illness. So, that's the kind of thing that it does. Where am I heading right now? Going to go haul some wood. I'm also going to say tortoise is no longer restricted. Uh, and I will probably say... You know what? You can store corpses here of uh, animal corpses. All right. So what? Did I do something wrong? Oh, I I just realized something. I canceled the um. I canceled the the wind turbine. So let me just put that back there. That's the one thing Pat can actually fucking do. That, these don't. These totally don't need to be cut. Actually, they do need to be. No, these don't need to be cut though. The reason we cut these is because it's going to get in the way of the wind turbine. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to say, so there we go. We have our wind turbine, but however, it's blocked by a poplar tree or whatever the fuck that means. It's these bait, it's these assholes. So apparently trees will block wind turbines. That's just the kind of the attention to detail they kind of put into this. But it's, it's actually not that important right now that we have that. Um, what we're gonna do first though, is we're gonna have a, uh, where's our security? Uh, I'm debating how to handle this. Do I only need one turret or should I get like two? Uh, I don't know, I'll see. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll try and start with just one. Okay. The Pat is going to construct a turret while I clear out the wind turbine. There we go. Now that now it's trying to go, and I am right now still cutting plants and shit like that. And friendly can have a stack. Oh, unfortunately, there is a raid of the Shadow Winners uh, group of pirates. It's just one asshole with like a club. So is he? I think he's just gonna hang out here for a while. Yeah. So to be honest, I'm not too worried about that. However, what we will do is we'll say, uh, let's make some sandbags. All right, uh, where is, oh, well, apparently I'm, apparently Pat needs to construct some stuff. He's wandering. Okay, we're gonna prioritize him on that. So he's not coming yet, but sandbags will definitely help here, the situation. Am I fucking, I was totally just fucking around with that shit. All right. All right, so it says now that they, they are beginning, beginning their assault, so if we kind of look back at him, hey, he's coming down. And he's going in the totally shit way. Okay, uh, Pat may have to come up here. So, he's, he is a, a bandit. Oh, apparently Paticus is incapable of violence. Yeah, he will only run away. Okay, good. Uh, let's just kill him. Uh, you know, I would love to capture him, but I don't think we really have the capacity to, to jail someone at the moment. So we're just gonna have to kill him, I think. Yeah, I would I would love to take him with me, but I kind of didn't uh, plan for that ahead, so. So we just kill him. All right, there we go. So we just learned that, I, I didn't look at this before, I kind of, uh, I missed that. The Pat is incapable of dumb labor, violent, violent, scary, hauling, plant work, or mining. He's a, he's a privileged prodigy. It sounds like Pat, definitely. Um, and a, plan, a planetary diplomat. What a guy. Everything was dis disabled. So it's just, it's just, there's things they refuse to do because they're fucking assholes. Doesn't matter that they're on a, like a room world stuck somewhere. And I can't do this shit. Actually, I only have bruises, which is great, so... I'll heal up, naturally. So, that's good. So, Pat's a dick, and he's he just refuses to do a uh, certain thing, so... So, unfortunately, now, since the wind kind of died down, uh, this uh, turret is, is absolutely useless, so... That's the, that's the nature of power sometimes, and so that's well, how we have to deal with that, so... Good times. And probably I should make a bed for Pepe over here, but I don't know. We're still just kind of starting out here. And, uh, oh, apparently we're going to waste one of our medkits. On. Oh, no, we're apparently not wasting anything. All right, so, uh, we can actually breach this door now. Here's a question. Can we deconstruct that? Uh, actually, can you prioritize, not assigned to constructing, uh, but you can do it. So remember, this is on uh, difficulty where um, things will not, uh, I they will not save, so I'm taking a large risk here. What is in here? Hey, guess, guess what guys? We're in good luck here. Um, this only has cryo, cryopods. Um, we can open them, but we have no idea what the fuck's inside, so we will not open them. But we do now have uh, a nice way of uh, of dealing with this shit. So we're gonna say with this uh, this turret, we're gonna reinstall it like I don't know, like over here or something. I mean, we uh, we can use this room. 
it is what I'm what I'm saying what I'm getting at. It's it's a usable room for us. So I didn't look at it before because there could be some really dangerous shit in here, but we got very fortunate in the fact that uh it, there's just there's absolutely nothing here, so. Alright, so what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna make some rooms now for us. I'm just counting, sorry. Okay, so these rooms are not big enough for us to bother with this too much. Right now the temperatures are pretty good, so yeah, it's just telling us the area is revealed. Uh, need a meal source. Okay, so we have a problem with food at the moment. Um, but wondering if like the we're gonna carry the tortoise over here or something. So we're gonna have to consider making some bedrooms and some other stuff. Like this is a nice commons room, so. Uh, well, what I usually do is, so we have a side of a mountain here, right? So we're gonna say like, hey, you know, uh, let's, uh, let's make a nice, let's kind of make out a nice room here. So we make make orders, we say mine. I make usually five by five bedrooms. I like that. That wouldn't be so bad. And then we're gonna say deconstruct these two places as well. Actually, two, two on each. The so Pat will deconstruct these. And I am continuing to move move things around. And Pat will, should, come over and work the med... No, apparently I'm just going to get right up. Apparently, apparently hauling things is more important. I mean, you don't really, like, you don't... Whoops, uh, what am I looking at? I'm... I uh, character. I mean, or health. I don't know what, what, oh yeah, it's next treatment in five days, five hours. Wonder if I ever get healed from that, I'm gonna assume not. Fuck, oh, he didn't even use it fully. So these cryo caspets, uh, I mean, there could be people in them, there could be like aliens in them, we don't fucking know. It's dangerous, it's, let's not even open those. So we're not gonna open those. So we already know that the people potentially come from over here to attack. So what we might do is, actually this is a steel wall, so we want to deconstruct that. And Pat's busy closing up this place. And uh, we're gonna have to, we're also gonna have to think about food source, but to be honest, food source isn't really a big issue. Because for food source we have, uh, we have some options here. Because there's a, there's a shit ton of animals that we can make. Uh, make what kind of wall is this limestone wall okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say we're gonna make a wooden wall here and make it like right here do I not have enough oh too close to map edge okay that's a problem let's just cancel all that ha <laughs> can I can I make uh one second can I even make oh yeah so apparently uh, this is something I didn't know because I never made shit so close to the map edge I can't I can't do anything here that's an interesting factoid, but still, this is still a good place for us to be, so we're going to stay here. But what I'm going to have to do, though, uh, where, where did I go? Fuck. Stop stargazing myself. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a wooden wall right here and another wooden door. Let's say right here. Identical blueprint already exists here because I didn't press the door. Okay. We're going to make a door right there. And we unfortunately have rain, but I think it's fine because nothing's getting inside here anyway, so nobody cares. And we're also gonna make uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some power lines, kind of heading to over here. Doesn't have to go that far, but it can just go right here. So it means that I absolutely cannot close off this top part at all to the top. So some people are always gonna be able to come through here and shit like that. And you, you know, if this wall blows up, I can't, I don't think I can do anything about it, so. At some point I may have to reconsider some options here. Uh, we're also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna designate toggle power, we're gonna turn off that nice defensive turret that we created. And, uh, let's see here. So Pat's gonna go do that. Also, I'm gonna say for working, flicking the switches are the, is the most important thing you need to be doing. Okay, so now that this little container room is almost done, we are going to now look at some of our temperature options, which is a mechanic that we haven't really looked at too much uh, so far. 
So we have a cooler, we have a vent, and we have heaters. And we also have a campfire, but that's 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 for primitive shit. So what we're gonna say here is, oh hey, you know what? Uh, you see the red part, that's where heat goes. Uh, the blue is where cool goes. So we're gonna have this be a air conditioner that works that way. And you're at, you're gonna ask yourself, well, why why would you do a thing like that, Mike? Well, let's have a look in just a second. As soon as uh, Pat starts being a lazy piece of shit and builds it. All right, so actually, let's just let him finish it. We're probably gonna also have to make a battery in here somewhere, just so we don't run out of power. Uh, where's our battery? Uh, there's our battery. We'll put it right there. But our target temperature is going to be like, I don't know, like negative three or something. So it is going to actively try and make this place a cooler place. Now you can see it in my bottom right corner what the temperature of the place is that I'm hovering on. Major break risk. Let me see why Pat's uh, about to crack. Uh, he doesn't like being naked. Oh, well, that's, that's an easy solution. Unless this guy is naked too. Oh good, there's pants here. Okay, he's gonna make the thing real quick. Um, so, we're making the room really cool. Where's the pants? Force, force Pat to wear the pants first. Uh, okay, major break risk again. I wasn't really paying attention to what the, his issues were. He doesn't like the shared bedroom either. Just feeling bad eight without a table. So these are some issues, but they're not huge issues. So now that this room is in now negative two degrees, so what we now say for this is we make this we zone this in area. So it is it is a freezing area, and we store nothing in here other than foods and corpses, and particularly animal corpses. And we make this the most important. Well, we can just say it's critical. So now what will happen is that uh, we will move. Like, or at least I will move all the food into here, and it will get frozen no matter what, as well as the animal corpses, which, uh, there should be one here. Where's that, uh, rabbit that I saw? Ah, oh, here it is. What the hell is this? Dough, it's been dead. Oh, actually, it's a fucking pile of bones. Do that shit. We don't want that. I'm trying to see where that, uh... Done. Okay, so apparently a cougar and a tortoise just had a fight. Cougar's hungry. It's uh, the chain of food of command. The doe wasn't... We, we killed the turtle, I thought. Did I put the turtle in here? No. It's not in here either. Okay, so this, this storage area, let's just get rid of it. We're going to delete... We don't need that anymore, because now we have an actual cooler now. Um, the only unfortunate part is, I don't know what to do with... Uh, uh, we need more. We need a more stable source of food. So what we'll do first of all, the more important priority is we're gonna just make a grave, or two graves. Oh, what Pat is actually gonna do something? What a guy! All right. So next things that's kind of important is we can also make a dumping zone, and so I'm just gonna put it like I don't know, maybe up here. No, I can't put it really put it up there. I just put a dumping zone right here. So what is a dumping zone? Uh, basically anything that's total crap, like corpses and chunks of shit. So you can see in this room that we've kind of, uh, kind of hauled out. Um, so there's there's a fair bit of space here, right? So we we want to basically we want to move all those rocks out. And so what the dumping zone will allow is he'll move it around uh, to a proper place. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make a... So, there's two kinds of research benches. There's a simple one, there's a high-tech. There's also like a stove and some other shit here. Uh, we're just... We want to make a research bench because Pat is literally just sitting around with his thumb up his ass, so... Um, I am considering a decent place to put this. Fortunately, there hasn't been a whole lot of options. You know, we'll, we'll do it like this. That's, that looks pretty good. Because I would like Pat to have a something to do. So research will allow us to get some better better materials and things like that. Uh, sorry, better... Uh, you'll see. We'll get some better shit out of the way. We're also gonna have to consider uh, finding an alternate source of power. Block by block by tree. What the fuck? Chop that asshole. 
And we just we just found components, actually. We just prioritized cutting that tree because the windmill isn't working. Yeah, that, that one tree is blocking everything, so there you go. Ta-da. Uh, Alright, so... This right here is all compacted machinery, which is, uh, it turns into components which can be, um, don't ask me how this works. It turns into components which can be used for like heaters. I mean, I, I'm guessing the cooler used one as well, things like that. So we're gonna, since we're kind of done with these bedrooms here, it would appear, what we're gonna say right now is we're gonna make a door in both these places. And we're also gonna make a, yeah, we need a meal source still, but we still have three and ten, so we're still pretty good for this stuff. So we have a we have a environment for that. So we're just trying to make bedrooms next, so then everyone will be happier. We're also going to make a vent in between the two rooms, so that um, right now it's 21 degrees. There, there is a heat wave going on, but uh, if I choose to cool it a little bit, which I'm not. I can, add, I can add a cooler. Apparently indoors it's still cooler, because it is the shade. Yeah, this game kind of thinks of everything. Hey, hey, look, our windmill's going like full capacity. Look at that. And the battery is thus charging, which is our network to our cooler. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. So Pat will go eat his stuff, and uh, he'll kind of go hang out here. So, oh, look, he's actually going to construct something. What a guy. I was hoping you'd actually construct the research bench though, but I think that requires a shit ton of steel. How much steel do we have in our resources right now? We only have three steel. So that's actually not really not quite good, but what we can say here is we can say deconstruct. This is a steel wall. And anytime, yeah, there's a heat wave going on right now, we understand. Watch for heat stroke. It is 46 degrees. All right, you know what? A bigger priority right now is a temperature for inside here. So uh, we're gonna say, hey Pat, you wanna work on that? Need materials? Well, you're a piece of shit. All right, well, let's look around at some of the walls we have here, because uh, you can get steel and other such things from close by. This is a marble wall. Uh, this is limestone wall. This is slate. Granite. I Did I really use, yeah, because I made a windmill, right. Yeah, so I d really did use all my steel right off the, right from the get-go. Granite. So these are like the easiest places to get these kinds of materials from. Slate. Slate. Like it just starts with a couple of places nearby. It's all garbage. Marble. Yeah, we are officially screwed, guys. Do we have any... So we have plenty of compacted machinery, right? But I'm trying to look for steel. I was wondering why we weren't making that thing. So there's a couple ways you can get steel. We can get through some random drops or something. Uh, in this particular case, I was hoping to find some somewhere on the map. This is silver ore. Uh, we can get from traders as well. Uh, Ah, uh, here we go. Compacted steel. So, I mean, we can just uh, say to mine that. I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me how bad we were for steel. I didn't waste it on anything, did I? Like something that was really dumb. So we should probably rush uh, drilling, uh, deep, deep ore drilling, because that's a, that's a way you can get it without having to actually have to deal with it. But you know what? Fortunately, we had the best miner in the business. Apparently, I played a, a, a gazillion hours of Minecraft, so uh, I think we're pretty good for that. Apparently, I'm, I'm just perpetually always going to need treatment for this shit that I have. What a shitty disease to have. So, right now, I'm just wrapping up this crap. Um, what we're also going to do is we're going to say uh, we're going to reinstall these beds kind of in these kinds of places. It's unfortunate that nobody wants to haul. Will, will Pat even do mining? Major break risk for Mike Lot. Very hot. Yeah, it's because we don't have an air conditioner. You know what? I have an idea. 
But what we're going to say is we're going to say hold open. Okay. What this is going to do is we have one air conditioner that already works. And I was going to say it's letting some of the air out. But it still appears to be 42 degrees inside the, the, the chamber here. So we are literally cooking right now. Which is obviously great. Where have I gone? Oh, good. We're actually going to go mine here. Actually, I, I told myself not to do constructing, right? Yeah. Yeah, some spy I am. I'm a fucking great miner, though. I think, uh... Oh. I think Pat's uh, ready to go build something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like fucking 50 degrees. Holy shit. Just awful. Oh well, well, we'll see in the morning uh, what happens uh, to our, our fabulous colony after that. So, I hope you guys are enjoying and take care, everyone. Goodbye.